Now we are going to see the relation between elements of the Earth's magnetic field. We have already seen that the three elements of the magnetic field, that is your angle of dip, angle of declination, okay, and horizontal component BH, right? So we have already seen that BH is what? That is B cos del, right? Its value will be maximum at equator, right? And what is its vertical component? That is B sin del, right? So we are going to find this. This can be, we can write it down. Therefore, B vertical upon B horizontal. For finding the relation, we find B sin del upon B cos del. We found that here, that is, BV upon BH is equal to sine theta upon cos theta is what? 10 del. This will be 10 del. Okay. So this can be my equation 2 and this can be my equation 1. Okay. Now if this we have got we can also write it down from equation 1 and 2. What is that? B square H because it is making a right angle triangle so I can write it down like this B square H plus B B square is equals to what that is B square cos square del plus cos sine square del this is equals to B square H plus B square V is equals to magnetic field ka square so we got the relation as b is equal to under root of b h square plus b square vertical means the vertical component so the total magnetic field we can calculate it with the help of horizontal and vertical component of the earth's magnetic field so this is helpful for finding out the magnitude or the magnetic field at any place on the earth's surface thank you